All right, folks, here we are, another week of the Wealth Webinar Series. This series was started over a year ago. The first couple I did, I had hardly anyone on them, but I still showed up every single week. If I had one person on, that was one person that I was helping. If I had no one on, I was hopeful that someone would come back and watch the recording. Sometimes, folks, when you commit to something, you commit to it no matter what. Now look today, I know it's been a year, but now without any advertising, we can bring between 40 and 100 people, teach them things because that's what this training's all about. It is free. We don't charge for this. We don't really sell on this. Every once in a while, I'll tell you about an event, but we don't use this as a sales funnel. We use this to educate you so that you can move forward in your financial life faster, smarter, and more efficiently and do it with things that no one else is going to teach you. You're not going to meet financial advisors or insurance agents or bankers that are going to teach you this stuff because they can't make any money. But money's pretty important. And just like my shirt says, folks, I don't know if you can see it. It says, money is my permission slip. So we finally got our shirts. So I know I've been talking about these shirts for a long time. Um, and these shirts are not going to be available to the public. These shirts are going to be available only to Money School TV members, which is MSTV. So if you're part of MSTV, guess what? You're going to be getting shirt. Okay, where well, there's, some, there's some rules to that. We're not going to just give shirts away for free here, folks. But if you're a member or you become a member, you're going to get that month's shirt. Every month, we've got a new shirt. The first shirt that we're going to launch, and then we're going to get into Sodi. And Sodi, I'm not ignoring you. I'm just kind of getting them used to this. So here's the first shirt. It says, I've never met a dollar I didn't like. And you can see this one's got the fox on it. The one I've got, has got a Doberman pincher on it and it just says money is my permission slip. And then you can fill in the blanks and say, what is money your permission slip for? So every month we're going to release a new shirt. These are not shirts available to the public. The only way to have access to these is to be part of the club. And the club is called Money School TV. And you know what? If you're joining MSTV for the shirt, shame on you. You should be joining because of the content on MSTV. Me and Sodi just did an episode last week, and it was epic on the stuff we're going to talk about today. But there's so much knowledge on there. So stay tuned. The shirt launch is going to come out and we're going to have a ton of fun with it. Not only is there shirts going to be going out, many of you probably have already received your newsletters. We're doing a monthly newsletter. Now I know some people like, ah, newsletters are boring, not ours. Heck, we're doing things like happy hours on there. We're going to start doing a thing called ask me anything. So every single Wednesday, we're going to do these wealth webinar series, but then later around 4.30 or 5 o'clock, we haven't arrived on a time yet. We're going to do a happy hour that's called ask me anything. Every one of you can jump on for as long as you want, and you can ask any question you want based on the stuff you learned, you know, at the prior webinar, or just based on things you've been writing down that you got questions about as long as it's money focused, we're going to do that. So the newsletter is coming out and I got another surprise, but I'm not going to tell you about it because what fun would that be? So what we're going to, we're going to talk about some awesome stuff today. Okay. We're going to talk about a investment vehicle called derivatives. Okay. Options as you may know them, but I'm not going to be doing the talking about this. I did this for so long, but you know what? I'm not as good as my friend here, Sodi. Sodi is the, he's awesome. But if you guys can see the screen, Sodi isn't my age. He's a lot younger than I am, but everybody, I'd like to give you all of you to give a warm welcome to my friend, Sodi. Sodi, can you tell him a little bit about like how this happened and like what you do professionally? You don't need to name the company. Please don't. Uh, we know how those compliance rules are, but what you do, how you learned all this stuff and then how we met. Sure. So, um, hi everyone. My name is Priyash for Sodi. I just go by Sodi, my last name. Uh, I'm 23. Uh, I started trading about six, seven years ago when I was, you know, 15, 16. Uh, it was just kind of like a hobby. You just get excited with it. Started with that. Started with Forex trading, which is currencies. Very quickly moved to stocks. And I was introduced to options. Um, so I've been trading options about five years, four years now. So I've kind of like just focused and specialized in options. Uh, my special uh, speciality is like hedging, which is protection, like downside protection, protecting from risk. Uh, it's interesting because Chris and I actually started talking. I, I found Chris through one of the podcasts and I was so intrigued by what he was doing and such an amazing work. And I really wanted to get to know him more and see what, uh, what I could do to help him. And likewise, so we set up our call about, you know, whole life insurance and how that system blew my mind. So like how I discovered options for the first time and that blew my mind. It's been a long time since then that I discovered something like that, that actually made me think and not be able to go to sleep. So Chris, thank you for that. Thank you for, you know, 
uh, bringing that to the world. Uh, so we had a call, we talked and we started talking about trading and options. And then both of us just, you know, when two traders talk, it's it, it, the conversation can go on forever. Like there's so much to cover. So we kind of just started talking. And then next thing, Chris invited me to the live uh, training and to this webinar. And it was a great experience. We did it on Friday. I hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, and then we really want to give you guys some solid value. Uh, I strongly believe that there is a lot of misinformation and um, a lot of lack of knowledge out there in the market when it comes to options and derivatives. Everybody hypes it up, talks big about it to try to sell you stuff to be like, oh, you can make 200%, 300% with options. Yeah, but maybe once a year. You know, It's about consistency and options really can help you do that. It's about if you think buying stocks and holding stocks is slow but consistent and you're comfortable with it, trust me, with options, you're going to do the same thing, but you're going to double, triple your returns. It's Absolutely. all about just using it correctly. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, no, I mean, you, you said something that was so key in there, and it was about consistent and persistent returns. If you swing for the fences every day, you become Babe Ruth. Now, Babe Ruth was an amazing baseball player, but he struck out more than just about anybody. But he never gave up, and he kept swinging for the fences, and he made a name for that. But the, more, the easiest way to make money is consistently and persistently without greed. If you've watched the movie Wall Street, the original Michael Douglas, remember he said, greed is good. Not really. Greed is good only if you have the knowledge to back it up and those people also lose and he lost in that movie as well so greed isn't good consistency and persistency now that's the ticket and the funny thing is sodi when we were talking you know we're talking about like i'm trying to find out every time i talk to somebody about the money multiplier i'm trying to find out like what are what are you thinking you're going to use this for and sodi was just like i just love the concept i like what it does i i want to earn uninterrupted compound interest but the bank account's doing nothing for me and you know he didn't have that he didn't have you know a lot of the things, you know, that other people would use it for. And I said, okay, well, you know, I use it for stocks in March. I took $18,000 out of my, my banking policies and I put it in my, my trading account and I started trading and I made a ton of money. And the, I wish I had my little sound machine, but the light bulb stinking went off and, and that was it. Like, and then here we are arriving, you know, we're talking about how you're all going to be able to apply these principles and use this to make a lot of money. And, and um, Sodi went all out on this and put together a really incredible, incredible training for you today. And I know this stuff can get technical. It can get, you know, overwhelming. I, I can assure you what he put together keeps it literally at, I said a third grade level, but we might stretch to like a fifth grade level. So if you're a fifth grader, if you have kids and your you know, children are fifth graders, they would be able to understand that. So that's the level we brought this down to. And we've backed it up with the back end trainings that all go with this. So you guys are in for a treat. And I don't want to take too much more time um, with this. Just uh, a couple, you know, recap. Apps, you know, in this training, if you have questions right down below, there's a chat button. I see a lot of people chatting in. Uh, you can chat in your questions. Let's say it's a little personal question and you don't want to put it into the public. You can send us a Q and A. There's a question and answer button and you can type in your questions and I'll answer either live or I'll answer personally so that it doesn't go out to everybody else. So while Sodi's training and doing his teaching, I'll probably chime in a little bit, but I'm going to be watching all of your feeds. Please ask questions. I don't, there is no question that's off the table. Okay. If it's, uh, you know, like anything, it, well, I mean, within reason, but uh, just ask questions. That's what this is about. It's about you learning. And if you don't ask, you'll never know. And sometimes, you know, I was taught a long time ago, the most successful people you will meet are the most available and they want to answer your questions. So with that, Sodi, I don't know, let's, you ready to roll? I'm, I'm ready to go. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm excited. Cool. All right, well, let's do let's, it. Let's jump right in. Cool. So I'm just going to go ahead and share my screen here. Um, so can you guys see that? Yeah. We good there? Perfect. All right. So options 101. Uh, basically today what we're going to focus on a little bit, we're going to talk about, and I'm going to try to make this as, um, you know, general as possible so that you guys can take this, write your own goals and then see which strategy works perfectly for you. So that's why I wanted to make it general so that you guys can customize it to yourself and I'll give all the information here. All right. So what we'll cover today, what are options? Why are they important? Uh, what their actual original purpose was, how to find the right strategy for you. The two things that I'm going to cover is. A lot of people, you know, they get nervous about stocks and everything. And they're like, oh, I'd rather just put my money into savings account. I'm going to show you how you can earn higher returns than your high yield savings account. Not even your general savings accounts, but your high yield savings accounts with minimum effort. Uh, ways to collect extra income from your existing positions. If you meet certain criteria, 
fantastic. If you don't, there are still some tips and tricks you can use to uh, collect extra income from your positions. And then we'll dive into the uh, TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim platform because I want to show you guys what it looks like in real life and some other things that you can want to look for. All right, what is options trading? Cool, let's just do it here. So options primarily are derivatives. They basically help you control a larger position in stocks without the capital exposure. What that means is if you had to buy 100 shares of a $30 stock, you would pay $3,000. However, with options, you could do it for as low as maybe a few hundred bucks. So it gives you that control. Secondly, it also controls variables such as when to buy, at what price, and how much to buy. You can't do that with, with stocks. At the max you can do is how much to buy. If the stock is at $30, you can't buy it at 25. But with options, you have the power to do so. So that's what we're going to cover today, and I'm going to dive into that. Uh, why are options important? Uh, options originally were uh, created as a tool for uh, hedging. Hedging basically means uh, protecting your investments. Uh, think of options as insurance. That's the best way I explain it. So if you purchase a new car, you always have insurance on it, right? If something happens to the car, insurance comes and helps you out. So those monthly payments seem like well used when, if God forbid you don't, but if you ever need to. So options are sort of an insurance. That's how they were originally used. They've evolved now. Uh, everybody uses from different things. But I'm going to talk about some very specific strategies that if you understand today, and we'll see a live example, you can start using it on your positions at this very moment. All right, so the problem. The problem, first of all, lack of knowledge in the market. A lot of people will tell you they understand options. They'll talk the very basic stuff, which is sure. But when it comes to actually understanding what options are, how they operate, how they change, not a lot of people understand them because they're very technical instruments. So it's very important for you to get the base right, understand just the very basics of what options are, but then know, okay, what I really want to do with these and then go off to that knowledge rather than having to learn everything out there and realizing, well, half the stuff I can't use, the other half doesn't make sense. And the last one, like it's just, it's not even real anymore because options evolve over time. Strategies change, they become obsolete. Second, incorrect strategies. A lot of people use the wrong strategies for uh, their goals. If you're a day trader, don't use long-term strategies. And I've seen so many do it. Or if you're a long-term investor, don't use short-term strategies that you know would not facilitate towards your goal. So knowing the correct strategies is important. A lot of people say options are complicated. I say, well, have you been, what have you been learning? They said everything. I'm like, of course it's complicated. If you know what your goal is, you specifically just follow that road and learn those strategies and options all of a sudden make a lot more sense because you're not diving everywhere. Inconsistency. So you don't know, like uh, Chris talked about this and funny, we had the same analogy about Homer every time. It's finding the right strategy that works for you and sticking to it. In the long run, being consistent pays off way more than hitting one or two big hits. All right, solution. So we'll start, start with some basics, you know, understand your goal. Now, this is where I want you guys, if you have your investment goals, uh, to like discuss them, put them in the chat, uh, write them down for yourself so that you can understand, okay, what is it that I'm really trying to achieve, where I am right now, and how can I get there? And then we'll talk about some strategies that can help you reach your goal. And then mastering it and being consistent. Because trust me, like Chris said, this fits into the 10 on 10 trading formula because program because it requires less than 10 minutes a day. And once you understand it, understand this, we've repeated monthly. So you could bring it down to 10 minutes a month, not even a day, 10 minutes a month. How awesome is that? I never thought about that. And that's absolutely true. It's like this strategy right, right here. My gosh, if it took you 10 minutes a month to do what we're going to talk about right here, like you probably spent too much time staring at your screen, wondering why am I staring at my screen? <laughs> absolutely. All right. So... <laughs> We're going to dive into two strategies first. Uh, some of you may have heard about them. Some of you may not. And if you have, hopefully I can add some more information to it that will help you take it to the next level. We're going to cover what are called covered calls and cash secured puts. So let's talk about covered calls real quick. So let's say, do you already own a stock or ETF? Basically you use covered calls to boost your total income and returns. Covered calls, if used correctly, like how I will show you, this can double to triple uh, the return of your dividends. I see stocks that pay 3% dividends, 4%, some 8% dividends. 
uh, with covered calls done over the year, you can, you, know, you can maximize those returns up to over 20 to 30%. And in this market, there are some really good stocks still paying really high percent dividends. So you get to keep the dividends, you get to keep whatever capital appreciation you get on the stock, plus you're collecting income every month. Like literally your stock is paying you rent. Think about it that way. Um, and then, you know, you still get to keep the dividends and everything else. So if you, it doesn't even have to be in the stock, it can be an ETF, anything would work. All right. Um, cash secured puts. Now this is a little bit different. In this case, you don't own anything yet. Let's say you decide that you want to buy a stock and we'll cover, look at some examples. Um, and you feel like it's too expensive for me right now. I don't want to buy it, but you have the money for it and you're just waiting to purchase it. How awesome would it be if you got paid to wait? You get to decide at what price this stock makes sense to me and you get paid to wait till it gets to that price. And if it never does, you get paid on your capital. So your capital is not losing value. A lot of people will ask, oh, but how is it risky? I'm like, well, you determine the price. You get to buy it at that price and you get to pay, you get paid to wait. And I'll show you an example where you'll see that the return you make on that capital to getting uh, to just, you know, uh, sitting and waiting is higher than the return you would make in a high yield savings accounts. Sometimes it's as high as 3% on just waiting. So, you know, this can prevent your capital from just sitting around, but it can earn you some return while you wait. So you can also average your positions if you have any. So we'll look at some real uh, numbers here uh, just to give you some like base of how this works for both the strategies. Uh, and then I'll dive into um, the, the platform so you guys can see real life how to place a trade or what to look for in this. And I'll, I'll share some tips of, you know, what to certain things to look for. But hopefully so far this makes sense and you guys are excited to learn about them. One of the All things right. that's really cool about, you know, when we do get to the, the, the puts is, you know, not owning something. I mean, think of the companies out there, Airbnb, think of Uber, like they don't own anything, you know, Alibaba, but they make money. Own nothing, control everything. I just think that's an important thing to remember while we get into this. That's a great way to say it. Yeah, that's fantastic. Um, all right, so covered calls. Here's the technical definition. <laughs> when you sell a call option, you're selling someone the right, but not an obligation to buy 100 shares of a company from you at a certain price that you can decide and at a certain date, which you get to decide as well. Now, selling covered calls is optimal when you have a predetermined price at which your shares will be overvalued. Now, I'll, be, I'll share this slide with Chris. He can send it out to you guys. So you guys have, have it. You guys don't have to take notes here. Um, but yeah, so that's like the technical definition. Now, let's look at a number example, which hopefully will clarify things. All right. So let's say you have a ticker XYZ. All right. So we have a ticker XYZ. You purchased the stock at $50. So far, so good. Awesome. Uh, we f uh, see that the stock has a yield of 5%. That means it pays $2.50 per share in dividend. Okay. We own 100 shares. So we're getting $250 a year in dividends. Fantastic. That's what the stock is paying. That's what, you know, 90 to 95% of the majority of people are out there doing. It's holding their stock, collecting their dividend, and not even knowing about these strategies. Let's take a real, not take, moving on, sorry. Uh, let's say the current price of this stock is 53. Now we think, okay, our stock is collecting 5% dividend. How can we increase this? How can we get more money from these shares that are just sitting there that are already up $3? You know, we, we know we'll get 5% dividend for as long as we hold them for a year. How can we make some more money? What we're gonna do here is we're gonna sell a covered call. Basically what we'll do is, We'll go and I'll show you an option chain. So this will be a little bit more, make more sense then. We'll find this strike. I feel like, so let's say I feel at like $55, the stock is too overvalued. I, I, I don't like it off of that. I'm like, no, it's too much of a risk holding in. So I sell an option at $55. Now I get $100 to take on this risk. So somebody from the market is paying me $100 to take on this risk. Fantastic. I get to keep 100 bucks. Awesome. Right? Now, What's happening is strike price is $55. We're collecting $100. And we usually go 30 to 45 days out because that's where you will find the most amount of uh, premium for your money. And we'll take some examples. I looked at some examples yesterday that, you know, 
you'll be you'll you'll you guys will enjoy them where you'll see sometimes so close being so close means you can do this every 10 15 days sometimes you can do in 45 days so you guys can really decide but 30 to 45 days is optimal and you can do this every month so you can bring it down to 10 minutes a month so this is what we're doing right now so there's two things that can happen with this stock there's only two situations that always uh, ever happen with this let's say xyz stays below 55 dollars at expiration it could be at 54.95 still works for us as long as it's below at 55. All right. At that point, you get to keep the full hundred dollars. That's your money. You get to keep it just to take on that risk. That is yours. You get to keep it. And now you can do the same thing and sell another one. So now you got to keep a hundred dollars. You can sell another one for 30 to 45 days now, and you can keep repeating this process. Usually when I show the profit potential for this, let's look over here. I usually say like you sell, let's say you assume you sell eight times a year not even 12. Let's say you only do eight times a year. We're on, we're not even saying 12, just eight. Okay. Every time an average premium collected was hundred dollars. So you collected total $800 in a year. Fantastic. How much was the return? If our original investment, now this is because, you know, it was $50. Um, there's a little bit of error here, but like you'd make an extra 16% on that return. Original dividend yield plus an extra yield on the, from selling calls, you make 21%. From 250 to $800, like 250 was your dividend that you made in a year. 800 is that you collected from just selling these calls every month or, you know, eight times a year, not even more than that. You've made an extra uh, 800 bucks to total $1,000 where 90 to 95% of the people are just making 250. All of a sudden you come up, go ahead. I love it. Like, let's say how many of you, you know, and I hear this all the time, you know, have stocks that have been sitting around in your account. Maybe you inherited them, you know, your, your parents, your grandparents, you know, just worked at Ford or they worked at GE and they just had this stock that they had. Well, that stock's just sitting there and you don't really want to sell it, but this is a way where you can now create an income stream for you, passive income. Cause I mean, it doesn't get much more passive than 10 minutes a month, you know, that's going to pay you every single time. And you don't really need to be good at anything. You don't even need to really, as long as you can turn your computer on, go to your trading platform and click a couple buttons. Once you learn how to do it, it's the same darn thing every single time. It's very easy. Or right now you might be stocking up on Smith and Wesson stock thinking, Hey, that might be a good buy. Thanks, Holly. Uh, Holly's on here and she, uh, you know, told me about that one and I balked up on it. I should do some covered calls because I have a few hundred shares of that right now. But, you know, you're just thinking that might be a good one, but you just want a little bit of income to offset that car payment, to offset, you know, whatever monthly expenses you have. This is what you use. Absolutely. And that's, you know, first of all, 80 to 90% of the people who are actually buying shares or trading don't know about these strategies. Mm -hmm. Those who do don't understand it because they think it's so complicated. It's so like ridiculous. They, they don't take part in it. They're like, oh, I'm going to make another one or 2%, but they don't understand the concept of every month. You know, you multiply that return. So we see here that 16% extra from, you're still holding it. You, if, if you ever sell the stock, if it gets called, whatever happens to it, you still get the dividends you're, that you're entitled to. You've made an extra $800 in your position. And if the stock is going up, you're still making money on that. Worst case, I always tell people, I'm like, let's say the market goes down. Let's say the market goes down by 10%. If you just have the stock, okay? If you just bought the stock and the market goes down 10%, right? You're down technically only 7.5% because you had a 2.5% dividend coming. You're still down 7.5%. However, if this is a strategy that you were doing and the market went down by 10%, guess what? You're still up 11%. And it's amazing that most people don't think about it in that terms. And it's so simple to implement, which we'll see very soon. Uh, and I'm going to cover this, uh, the next part of it. Uh, the second situation in this case could be, let's say XYZ goes above 55, you know, what you feel like 55 was overvalued. It's gone above it, whatever. You still get to keep a hundred dollars. Those are yours to keep. That's perfectly fine. Nobody's going to ask them back to you. You get to keep those, but it could be that your shares will get called away. That means, Somewhere in the market, there was a buyer who wanted those shares at 55. We don't care what the price of XYZ is right now. It could be 56, 60, 70, but your shares got called away at 55. Now let's look what your profit potential would be here. You bought it at 50, 
they got called away at 55. That means $5 was your profit, a share. Times 100 shares, you have $500. Great, capital appreciation. That would be for most people when they sell their stock, whatever dividend they collected and whatever price they sell it for. However, in your case, you made an extra $100 for selling that covered call. All of a sudden, instead of 500, you've actually made $600 on that position in 30 to 45 days. That's an extra 2% on your investment a month. 2%. If you were to do this only eight times a year, not even 12, only eight times a year, you go back and buy the stock and then you sell another, another covered call. You keep repeating this. That's an extra 16% on your investment. Isn't that incredible? From a 2.5% dividend that gets paid in a year, we're showing you something that can make you 2% a month and 16% a year, or in the other case, 21% total. Isn't that fantastic? At this point, you can repurchase the shares and repeat the process or apply the second strategy, which we'll discuss. Go ahead. And if you had money in your infinite banking policy, you could have just taken a loan from your infinite banking policy, bought the 100 shares, applied this principle. Now you've made money twice. So now it's really not the 16 or the 21%. It's that plus the spread you made on the banking. You see how all this stuff comes together, folks? It's about moving your money. It's about keeping that money continuously moving and working for you. You hear me say this so many times, and I don't mean to you know, take, take the, the rain here, but like, man, it's, it's like exactly what you're showing people here is how to make your money work for you. You don't have to go out and work harder to, to build wealth. You have to make your money work harder. That's the trick. That's what the wealthy know that we're not taught. I'm not saying, you know, stop working because that's not going to work so well. I'm saying, you know, don't think that you have to go out and work harder, take on a ton of overtime to keep getting ahead. Sometimes it's just applying these simple principles to make your money work harder consistently and persistently. And over time, it makes a world of difference. I mean, it wouldn't take very long to make a difference at 16% plus the spread you're making on the banking policy. But anyway, back at you. No, no, that's a great point. And I, I love options because, you know, that's why we really click because the money multiplier concept is about multiplying your money. And that's what options really help you do. <laughs> you know, options are like the multiplier policy of the stock market, if you think about it. Man, Brent got the name right when he picked the money multiplier. Let me tell he you. He really did. He, he got, you know, bullseye with that one. All right, let's move to cash secured puts. All right. So again, a technical definition. When you're selling a put option on a stock, you're selling someone the right, but not an obligation to make you buy, which is what we wanted to do anyway, 100 shares of a company at a certain price, which you decide before a certain date, which you decide, okay? It's the most optimal strategy when you have a price that you wanna pay for some stock that you, uh, let's say the stock is trading above. You feel like I'll only buy it at that certain price, but you don't wanna wait. This is a strategy for you. Let's take a quick example. Same ticker XYZ, different prices. Let's say we feel like at $40, this stock is perfect. I will buy it at $40, I will jump on it. Sounds good, we need to buy 100 shares, we need $4,000, sounds good. Let's say the current market price in this case is $45. We're like, okay, it's too expensive, it's $5 above my price, I don't wanna buy it right now, but I don't know what to do with my $4,000, you know? I wanna wait, okay. Or we never know the market may never come down. How about we just put this $4,000 to use right away? What we'll do is we'll look for an option strike at the price we wanna purchase, which is 40. So we have 40 here. Let's say we got $100 to uh, take on this risk. Perfect, we made another 100 bucks. So here's what's happening. We're choosing to sell a put option at 40 because that's the only price we'll buy the stock at. We're getting $100 to take on this risk without even owning shares. We're willing to do this 30 to 45 days out every month again, all right? Case uh, situation one, let's say in this case, XYZ stays above 40. So please don't confuse this with covered calls. This is a completely different concept. So just let's focus on this one. Uh, let's say XYZ in this case stays above 40. It never dropped to the price we wanted to. That's fine. We get to keep the hundred bucks. That's our money. It expired. We get to keep a hundred bucks. We get to do this again. Again, I only take eight times because I'm like, you know, sometimes you can't do it 12 times a year, but eight times even shows you the insane return you can make. If you do this eight times a year, let's say over a year, the stock never drops to 40. If you were just a regular investor, you never got to buy this stock for a year and your $4,000 just sat doing nothing. And you were like, oh man, I wish I'd bought it at 45 if it goes high. You start having fear of missing out. You know, you start getting in that mindset. But with this strategy, you're like, 
no problem. I'll wait for like another two years if I want, because he did this eight times a year. Every time he got an average of hundred. So let's say you made $800. Okay. You needed $4,000, but you made $800 on a total. You've made 20% return on your capital in a year for just waiting. If the stock went from 45 to 48 in a year, it didn't even appreciate that much. It barely appreciated less than five, 6%. But you've made 20% return waiting. How incredible is that? Yeah, imagine having that conversation with your neighbor, you know, when you guys are you know, <laughs> drinking coffee in the morning or having cocktails in the afternoon and you're talking about stocks and he's like, yeah, that stock's been a dog. It hasn't gone up anything. And you're like, yeah, I know I made 20% on that stock. You'd be like, how? <laughs> it didn't even go up. I'm like, well, you should know. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And that's what's insane because people, people know when, you know, and we'll talk about stock picking and everything real quick uh, towards the end. You can do this with anything. As long as you know what price you want to pay and you think it's good enough, you sometimes you don't even have to. We'll see, we'll give you certain examples with ETFs for that. So, you know, you make 20% on your capital. Tell me that's not higher than a high yield savings account out there. That's higher than Later. most people make on all their mutual funds in a whole given year and more than they make on most stocks that they have. And, and they took on really lot, a lot less risk in doing something like this. Yeah. And then and I want to cover, go ahead. No, I, I, I was just going to keep going, but um, we, we do have one question I want to hit before sure. we go too much deeper. Um, Justin was asking, and I believe this is regarding the uh, covered calls. So if everybody can kind of okay. just go reverse, or actually, can we take the slides back a couple to the covered calls? I just want everybody yeah. to kind of realize there's two strategies. One mm -hmm. is the first, the covered call, where you have to own the stock first. Yep. So Justin was saying, what happens when the stock price drops below the original purchase price after the expiration date? Okay, so you're saying that it drops below the purchase price? That's, uh, below yeah, or, or below the 50 bucks, yeah. You but, get to keep the $100. Yep, exactly. That's yours. It doesn't, as long as it doesn't go over 55. And like I said, if it's at 54.98, that's still your 100 bucks at expiration. If it expi market closes at that price, it expires at that price, even by two cents, one cent, that, those $100 are if sometimes you do these strategies correctly, which we'll look at the live example, you know, when a market downturn comes, a lot of people freak out, but you get to keep collecting premium. You get to keep going lower and lower and lower. And then when the market starts to rebound, you get to do the other strategy. So yeah, if, uh, to answer the question, if it drops below the purchase price 50 or goes to even $2, you still get to keep your hundred bucks. That's yours to keep. Yeah, I think that was just important because like, you know, I was talking about what if it goes down below and then he's talking about the expiration. Right. I just want to make sure we hit that. So, all right, now everybody take their minds and flip them forward <laughs> to the second strategy, which this one's my favorite one. Cash secure puts. So we said last that, you know, you get to pay, to, you get paid to wait. So you're making 20% on your capital, just sitting, making money. All right. Let's look at the second situation because in this case, it could happen that it drops below 40. So let's say XYZ is at uh, 39.50. It dropped below my $40. Oh no, everybody's starting to freak out. Don't worry about it. In this case, you still get to keep the hundred bucks. That's yours. What will happen, however, is somebody from the market is gonna give you a hundred shares of XYZ, but at $40. Now you may be thinking, but the market's at 39.50. I'm not buying it at 40. 50 cents, I'm already losing, you know, uh, 500 bucks or whatever. We'll, we'll look at it, why you won't be. So here's what happens. Instead of just your purchase price of $40, what you would assume in this case, what happens is you get to keep $100 from the market. Don't forget about that. You got $100 to take on this risk. So subtract that from 4,000, that was your initial capital, 3,900 divided by 100 shares, 39. Our actual purchase price of this share of these shares will be 39, not 40. A lot of people miss this point because you got the premium hundred dollars. That's your money, right? So technically you have $4,100 now. So you take that hundred dollars out. You have $3,900. You have hundred shares. Your average price is 39. Does that make sense? All right. If you have any questions, please, please ask. Position value at if so like, let's say the market is at 39.50. So those of you freak like if you freak out like oh my god the stocks I got it at 40 to 39.50. What's happening is our actual price is 39. The market price is 50. That means if it's already you know um, there's a 50 cent difference and you have 100 shares you've made 50 bucks. 
Sorry, that was an error from last time. Uh, ignore that. <laughs> you made 50 bucks. So your position is already in profit by $50. And you got to keep 100 bucks. Isn't that incredible? Basically, you decided, oh, you know what? I'm going to wait till the stock drops to 40. You keep selling cash secured puts. You keep collect. Let's say for a year, it doesn't drop. You make 20% on it. At some point in the market time, when it does drop to 40, you still get it for cheaper than 40. How incredible is that? And if you were to really just... Uh, one second. If you were to really just take a year's worth of $800 out of this, your stock price would drop down to 32. You're already up by $800. So it's incredible that, you know, you can get paid to wait. And when you do get the shares that you wanted, you will still get them at an incredible discount value than what you wanted. So with this strategy, not only did you collect premium for waiting and decide what to pay for it, you got them at an even bigger discount. It's like, you know, when they say 50% off plus 25% sale, that's what this is. You made an extra 2.5% on your investment in a month. And you got shares for cheaper. If anything, and the price was higher, your position is already in the green. So you're already making on this position, money on this position that you got paid to wait on. And if you repeat this eight times a year, that's an extra 20% you can make. At this point, you can sell the shares if you didn't want to buy them at third and you don't still want them anymore, you can still sell them above because they're above 39. You can make whatever profit and you can repeat the process and drop down a few more dollars. So you can continue doing this or you can just hold on to the shares. Now that you have 100 shares, you can go back to the covered call strategy and do that. So you realize that this, these two strategies work kind of like in a circle. You do the first one if you have the shares and you get called away, you go to the puts. If you don't have the shares, you can sell puts and then go back up to covered calls when you, once you have the shares. You can literally repeat this cycle forever with any of your investments and you would make money on those. And in, like we've seen, 15 to 22% of return. Isn't that incredible? Most people don't know about this. Before yeah, there's, I do there's actually very few people that know about this. He's being modest and saying most people, <laughs> like no one knows about this. And it's so simple, but nobody has, has peeled the onion or however you want to say that to really figure this out. And it's probably one of the simplest strategies you can apply. Absolutely. And then before I do move forward, I'm going to quickly cover fees. So of course there's like commissions and all those on options, which are very minimal now, like those times are gone. Um, like uh, Chris talked about earlier, you know, when people who manage money, they charge incredible fees to put in all these crazy products and make it look so complicated. If you took in charge of your money and did a little bit of homework, you would realize you can create those kind of incredible portfolios with five stocks, with five equities, with five ETFs. And I am not making this up. I myself worked as a portfolio uh, you know, manager and like uh, with an asset management firm. It's incredible to see the fees that people get charged. And if you read this month's, uh, you know, newsletter, you'll see Chris talk about fees and how a 2% fee can make the, in the penny multiplier, a $2 million, $3 million difference. It's incredible. These fees are something you don't have to pay. You know, if you just did, if you just bought, I've seen people who own one, one stock, like Chris talked about, what if you inherited hundred shares of Ford? It happens. There are people who own only one stock because they believe in it and they have so many shares and they do this on such a large scale. They don't have to pay anybody and you get to keep all the money in house. How incredible is that if you could do that? People make it sound so complicated. Oh, we're buying this, that. You're like, okay, with ETFs and market information nowadays, you guys can take control of your money and trust me, uh, and I'm here to answer any questions, you know. Uh, it's very easy for you to take control of your money and get, if not better, the same returns without paying those ridiculous fees. I love that you just said take control because that's always... The number one thing you guys need to know about making money is you got to get back control of your money. Before we move to this next, uh, there was a question about taxes, and I think that's an important thing. So the taxes are difficult and because we're not CPAs. We can't give tax advice, but really you can do these strategies in your IRA, whether it's traditional or Roth. You can do these strategies with your self-directed IRA because it's a brokerage component. Or if you just have money in a regular brokerage account, whether it's Schwab, TD Ameritrade, Thinkorswim, doesn't matter what which one you have, all these returns that you're making, the 20%, I'm sorry, folks, but you got to pay tax on that. There's no way around the tax, man, until you learn how that works with your CPA. And isn't it awesome that you t I would rather pay tax on the 20% return than on that 2.5% because nothing's left off yep. of that 2.5. With 20%, I'm like, I can do this every month. Take whatever you want. I'll get more. <laughs> you know, you never, or, you, it's an endless cycle. 
or you just find ways to beat the tax man and not have to give them all the 20% by using some money and buying some real estate, depreciating it. Anyway, getting down a rabbit hole. <laughs> and yeah, there's some, uh, again, we're not CPS. So I'm not going to give any advice on that, but there are ways of, you know, options rolling and everything that you extend the date of it. Yep. So instead of short-term capital gains, you can get long-term. So, but there's so much about options that I can go on. Oh <laughs> yeah. Gonna... It, it, it's a deep thing. And, and, you know, one of the questions came up and this is a good one. I mean, it's kind of basic, but you know, somebody's asking, where does the hundred dollars come from? Uh, question, it okay. just falls out of the sky. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's probably your neighbor who heard about the stock and wants to buy it. You know, it's probably him. But what usually happens is there's a buyer and a seller in the market. So since you're the seller, you're taking the risk. Somebody has to pay you to take the risk. Otherwise, why would you take the risk? So if I were to make the best analogy, when you're an option seller with what we're doing, these strategies, think of yourself as an insurance company. You're the one who's collecting premium from a bunch of people to take on risk. And you know, insurance companies make a lot of money because not all claims paid out. So the money is coming from somebody in the market who wants to buy this at a certain point, but not right now. So he's giving you this money to take this risk because he doesn't want to take that risk. So you get that money. So that's how it works. There's always a buyer and a seller. And once we look at the live platform, you'll see uh, certain things to look for to make sure that you're not stuck in odd situations. All right. So that was for, uh, you know, people who are long-term or even like monthly want to generate extra income. Um, before I go into short-term, there's some things I would say. So some of you may not have a hundred shares. That could be a case. Uh, so you may not be able to sell options. You need 100 shares to do that. If you have the capital, and I'll give two examples here. If you are somebody who's diversified across a portfolio, a bunch of stocks, uh, they're all like in 50, 70 shares, but none of them are 100. I would say it's a suggestion, like it's up to you. See if you can make it, get a position to 100 because you can accelerate that growth like we saw by three times. You know, that 5% growth, like 15 to 20%. So you would get a better return. If you're somebody who has way less shares, like 10, 20, 30 shares, and may not be able to apply those strategies, there's two other ways that you can generate income that most people don't realize. One, uh, you get dividends, right? Enroll in dividend reinvestment plans, trips. That means your dividends go back into your stocks and you purchase more shares. So that's like an infinite cycle. You keep multiplying your shares. You know, Every time you get paid a dividend, it goes back into the stock. You get more of that share in fractions. But trust me, uh, compounding, it's, it's sort of a compounding. It will add up. And then second, uh, this depends on brokers that you have. And this is just a tip I'm sharing. Uh, a lot of brokers now have, um, inter they, they pay you rent for lending your stocks. There's something called the stock lending. So you can basically lend your stocks to the brokers and you can make anywhere between one to 3%. I'm not sure if it's quarter or however, but you can make an extra income on shares that you already have. So there's ways to do this about, like most people are not aware of it. So quickly, I'm going to cover a short-term strategy, which is more of a buying options for most of you who, you know, want to do it as, on a short scale or don't have those amount of shares. If you're a day trader or a swing trader who wants to capitalize on the daily market moves, which is, you know, uh, the 10, 10 trading program, it talks and teaches you how to do the, the top-down approach analysis every day. So if you understand that, you know, you could basically do the 10% return that Chris was talking about uh, earlier with this, which is understanding these basic strategies, buying calls and puts. However, there's a checklist you want to look at. You want to make sure there's enough volume and we'll look at all this in real life. Don't worry. Uh, and I'll explain those then open interest, bid ask, Delta, theta, and expected move. Some of these may be confusing. I will cover them when I go to live session. Uh, but there's so many different strategies that you can apply, but it's important to know your goal. And I can only cover like these three here. There's so many that I can teach that for your specific goal. If you just learn those one, two strategies on your portfolio over the next two, three years, you'll be perfectly fine. You'd be, you'd do great for yourself and you don't have to overwhelm yourself with all this extra information and all this other jargon that people get make, uh, that people think makes options complicated. All right. So I'm going to switch my screen to, uh, the platform so I can show you guys, uh, that one second. And I know it may look a little bit wonky and just overwhelming, but Trust me, it's not. <laughs> and folks, don't, you know, I, I know this stuff might be new to you, but you know what? When you first learned to ride a bike, that was new to you as well. When you got behind the steering wheel of your car for the first time, that was new. And now you probably drive around, putting makeup on, drinking your coffee, talking on your phone. You don't even think about it. Well, this is the same way. 
the first time's the hardest time. But once you get used to it, this stuff, I mean, it looks like a bunch of numbers and a bunch of graphs, but really you're focusing on such a specialized way of doing this. You only need to learn one or two of these strategies and that's it. So I don't want you guys to get, you know, think this is complicated. So it is a complicated strategy, but it's a very simple application. So once you learn this and then you just have to apply it, it takes doing it a few times. Now, you know, in a, at the end of this, we're going to talk about the 10, 10 trading strategy where you can work with Sodi and he can coach you through this. There's going to be that option because some of you are like, wow, I want to make 20%, but I feel like there's things I need to learn. Great. You just need a coach. You know, maybe it's for a week, maybe it's for, you know, a couple weeks till you get the hang of this. But I mean, you know what? Sometimes that's what it takes because to be able to make these kind of returns consistently and persistently, like, why wouldn't you do that? And that's a fantastic point, Chris, because and I'll say this, I've been trading for like six, seven years now, you know, um, when I look back at my journey, I realize if early on I would have invested in a mentor, that journey would have been a lot shorter and a lot accelerated because I learned a lot of things the hard way stumbling myself that somebody who'd been through it would have just been like, don't do that. You know, I had okay. to learn it by doing it. And a lot of people that are watching this don't know, Cin uh, Cindy does, or Cynthia, because she's gone on like, these, what you're learning right here, these strategies that we're teaching you, that Sodi's teaching you, like most people make you pay for this. Like if you go on YouTube and you look up option <laughs> trading, they'll have this big fancy, like, you know, dog and pony show in the video. And then they'll be like, all right, and check my page out. And they're going to sell you a course, you know, which is going to cost a lot of money, 5,000. When I learned options, I spent $15,000 folks to learn this. That's what I spent. I, and I was a full coaching program and that's how I learned. You don't have to spend 15 grand, but that's what these things cost on YouTube. We're, we're literally giving it to you for free because I've, I constantly say this and I told Sodi this. I said, a mentor of mine once told me you have to give away your best stuff for free. And if you do that and people like that, then they're going to follow you forever. Well, that's what we're doing here, folks. This is, this is literally giving away the goods. So some of you are going to see this, learn this, and just go out and you'll never need anything from us ever again. And you'll be making 20%. Some of you are going to want your hand held a little bit. You're going to want to kind of be walked through this. And even after you learn it, you might be like, yeah, I'm ready to go, but I really don't want to trade my own money. Great. There's called, it's called paper trading. And I know Sody's going to talk about it. You can trade for a month, two months, three months with fake money to learn the strategy. And then you know what, when you start making money more times than you lose and you consistently and persistently make money in paper money, then you're going to be like, all right, I'm ready to go. Then your confidence is there. And now the rest is history. Yep. And that's, you know, so true because um, learning these things, like you'd be surprised how much people like, like Chris said. Um, I learned all this stuff and the stuff that they teach to me is like, well, you kind of just flooded somebody with so much information that they don't really know where to go with it. And that's why I say, if you know what your goal is of options trading, we can literally specialize and teach you exact strategies that only you need. You, you master them. Cause trust me, once you know what you need, it's not very hard. Cause now instead of focusing on 30 strategies, you're looking at three, how, you know, and then you're never confused cause you know exactly what you need. All right, cool. So let's dive into this uh, platform. And I'm going to take example of Coca-Cola. Uh, this is one of my um, best examples I can give because it has everything that meets the criteria that I need. So everybody's familiar with this, uh, with the company, the stock. So this is what's called an options chain. What that means is like, it's just basically shows a bunch of information about different options and, you know, everything that we need. On your left side are calls, as you can see here. On your right side are puts. So like we said, calls or covered calls, uh, cash secured puts, that's what's happening here. Uh, I'm gonna break this down a little bit so that you guys can understand and follow along. Uh, you see the strike price. That's the price that we determine either to you know buy the stock or sell the stock at. This is for us, we have a whole range. Now there's probably more, I just have 25 displaying. Some stocks have a lot more, some have less. So that's the strike price. This is the expiration. This means when does it expire? So we can see it expires on October 16th. <clears throat> excuse me, and it tells us that it's from nine days from now. And then if we go here, we have November, December, January, February, May, and as you go closer, someone more will show up. But let's take this example. Now, in this case, it kind of fits our parameters because, you know, we have the $50 thing. Uh, as I talked about the uh, in the checklist thing, Delta, let's cover these real quick. Delta, without overcomplicating, it's basically the change in the pricing of the option. How much will this option move for $1 change in Coca-Cola? 
$38. That's all you need to know. So Delta basically tells you how much will the option move uh, with $1 change in stock. Does that make sense? Yes, yes. Yeah, so if Coca-Cola goes up a buck, that's how much you're going to capture of the dollar. So if where his cursor is, Absolutely. if you own that one there, which is the 50 strike October 16th expiration, you would earn 30 cents for every dollar that Coca-Cola goes up. And it can work the opposite way, go down, but we're not talking. Absolutely. About Absolutely, because we're here, in this case, we're sellers. Right, uh, we're selling. Theta, yep. Theta, uh, unless you're like a short-term trader who's holding it overnight, uh, don't worry about it. This is something that works really well for in your favor if you're a seller of either case. So this is what you want. Uh, if for the short-term traders, this is if you hold it overnight, this is the value it will lose every night. All right. The two things that are very important to options trading, uh, except all this information here. This is all great to know, but people forget about the most simple things, which is volume and open interest. Okay. Uh, I see that the volume tab isn't here. Let me just customize this real quick. Volume. And folks, just so everybody knows, I did a pilot program back a while ago where I took 60 students through this trading, okay? And we did it over the course of one week. It was about an hour to an hour and a half every single day for a week straight. And they went from, these were people, some of these people had never traded a stock in their life. And we literally, by the end of that, had them understanding exactly how to do this, not just how to do this, but how to actually do it over and over again. And I know some of them because I, I see them on our, we have a private Facebook group, uh, how to trade stocks and options. And I see people posting all the time, made this much, made that much, you know, made $2,000. Um, Holly's on here today. She did fantastic in the program. So again, you know, I know this stuff's foreign and it looks weird and it looks like a lot of numbers, but it's actually not complicated. It's literally like, it's very simple once you understand what you're looking at, you know, and in the hour and a you know, hour, hour and a half we have with you today, we're not going to probably be able to get through every little detail that you might want to know. But I just want you to know that if you're getting overwhelmed with all the numbers and the dark screen, it's not complicated, folks. You just don't know what you're looking at yet. So that's what he's explaining here. Yeah, and I'm sorry if the color bothers anybody. I just like love this setting. So it's oh, I think it's great. For the past few years, <laughs> I haven't changed it. Um, all right, so let's take an example here. So Coca-Cola. What I just did is, so this is simulated trading. This is what Chris was talking about earlier. This is demo trading, and this is uh, Thinkorswim offers that. So you can set whatever cash amount you want. So what I just did is I went and bought 100 shares of Coca-Cola. So I have 100 shares. Um, now we're going to do a covered call which means I get to decide at what price the stock is overvalued for me, okay? So let's say it's at 49.51 is what it's trading at. I feel like at 50 to 50 in the next 44 days, if it goes, I don't mind selling it. Perfect. If it does go to that price, you would have made $250 from just, you know, uh, the difference, $2.50 profit, 100 shares, $250. Additionally, I can sell this covered call for $64. So that means I will get paid $64, okay, to hold my shares as collateral for the next 44 days uh, on my stocks that I already own. And in the next 44 days, if Coca-Cola pays a dividend, I get to keep that dividend as well, that dividend of mine as well, because I still have the shares. Now you can go higher, but you see that there's not a lot of income here. Now, these are some things that you know, can get a little bit tricky uh, to know, oh, why don't I want to sell 153? Or why don't I want to sell $300? The short answer would be you want to give yourself some room for your shares to grow, okay? If you're somebody who wants to sell this and thinks, hey, there's no way Coca-Cola goes above $50. It's absolutely going to go down. I'm perfectly fine doing that. That's great. If that's okay. And these are some things, you know, cases we can look at when we go into more one-on-one -on -one training because that I can focus and give you some case studies of why this happens. And I can explain how these are priced um, more in depth. But in this case, we'll go with the 50 to uh, 50 example. Second thing you want to look for is volume and open interest. So the volume is lower, but the open interest is high. That means there's 22,000 contracts of this in the market. So I'm not worried. I know there's liquidity. I know I can get in and get out easily. If that's uh, hopefully that people understand uh, liquidity and you know volume and open interest. Let's just yeah. be, volume basically means today. Open interest means throughout the existence. How many have been open? 85 of them were today. You just wouldn't ever want to trade one of these like at the very top there that has zero volume and one open interest. You're probably yeah. going to get stuck with it. Yeah. And then if you see the spread, a spread is also the difference between bid and ask. 
So basically if you were selling it, you know, like there's almost a $35 difference and you don't want to deal with that. that. That's bad. Here we have like a two cent difference, which is perfect. That's the tight as tight. Two to one cent is as tight as it gets. So basically you would sell this and you would confirm your order and send it. So I think I can just do it real quick in the demo platform. Click confirm, send. So at this point, what has happened is basically I've sold a Coca-Cola call. Uh, I have gotten $64. Oh, in this case, I got $67. Great. Look at that. Uh, you know, and now I can wait till November 20th to see if anything happens. If Coca-Cola stays below 50 to 50, I get to keep this money. Then I can go, go ahead and do the same thing again. Isn't that fantastic? Isn't that amazing? You get to do that again. Now, uh, let's look at another example. If you feel like, oh, this is 44 days too close. I don't want to do it. Well, guess what? You can go to December. You feel like I don't want to worry about it until December. Great. You could make another $30 if you wanted to send it out to December. You know, I wouldn't recommend going more than two months out. Uh, after that, it's just not enough. You, the waiting game for a lot of people doesn't work well. 30 to 45 days is optimal. So this November was perfect. If you're somebody who's a little bit more too, you know, eager to say, you could do it for the next nine days if you want it. Again, not a recommendation, but you know, some people, they find good options uh, that you might want to sell. You're like, okay, the market's dropping, sell this one. But that was a quick example of, and like you can see, I have an active position here. Uh, as you can see, Mark, for $66. So as time goes on, as I get to November 20th, if the stock is below um, 50 to 50, I get to keep this money. That's mine. That's an extra income on my stock. And I've only done it once. I can do it seven more times, get to that 20% return. Some of you may have a question of, uh, you know, oh, this is less than the $100 that I showed in the example. Well, like I said, I can't cover it in the webinar because it's a detailed topic. Pricing works has different um, variables. It could be very well, and I remember seeing this yesterday, this, this, this option was very much uh, expensive. It was almost at $80, $90, just because the, some chain, things change in the market, um, you know, has resulted in this being this. So it could be that as well. So, but that's an extra $66 on your shares that you never knew about. All of a sudden you can buy it. All right, let's look at another example of, of Let's say I, I don't own Coke in this case. Okay. Now we're going to talk about cash secure puts. Before I do, anybody has any questions on couple calls? Was this example quite, yeah. good enough? Did, did this help? Uh, if it did, please type yes. Just making sure that I did cover everything and it did kind of tie into the example that we talked about earlier. I'll just wait for a minute. Yeah, got a couple of yeses coming through. Awesome. Great. Perfect. Let's move to uh, cash secured puts. Now here I'm looking at a different company. I'm looking at Exxon, okay? And you know, I own here Coke. I do not own Exxon, but I feel at $33, this stock is still expensive. I wanna buy, I do not wanna pay more than $30. Well, guess what folks? I say I wait for the next 30 to 45 days. I'm here. I can go out longer too if I wanted to do more, but. 30 to 45 is good enough for me. Mm -hmm. I will go here to 30, okay? I'm like, this is what I wanna buy it at by 20th November. If not, I get to keep my money and I will make $94 for doing so. Isn't that incredible? You basically are getting paid to wait. I, I'm just in love with this strategy. I think this is the greatest freaking thing since the toothpick came out, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, isn't that incredible? And then again, uh, the second criteria that I talked about we see there's enough open interest, there's enough volume, and the spread is tight, it's three cents. Perfect, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna show you an example where I go to Exxon here, $30, sell this, confirm, send. Now I have locked up $3,000 of my capital till November 20th, but in return, I got paid $94. Let's see if I got paid a little bit more. 95, I got another dollar, great. So you get paid $95, to wait till uh, November 30th. If the stock never drops to 30, guess what? You get to keep that $95 and your $3,000 become free. And you can do this again. So on November 20th, for another 10 minutes, you can go back to December, you can pick this, sell this one, and then don't look at it till December 18th. And, and in, if it does, go ahead, please. I was just gonna say in that scenario, you would have made a 3.16% return on your money. You're not getting in yep. that, that in your bank account. So and that money in was 41 days. Yeah. His money's just sitting there. Okay. Yep. Banks don't even pay you 3% per, 
for three years, it seems these days. And, <laughs> and his money's just sitting in this brokerage account doing nothing. All he did is he just tied it up and made himself a 3% return over those 40, was it 44 days? Yep. Yeah. So basically 3% return a month. If he can replicate this, let's say eight times a year, that's 24%. That's higher than what I actually took in the example. And, yeah. and you can, and it can be like a double win. I mean, we already talked about the money multiplier. Use mm -hmm. use that money and move that over. So yep. if you got lazy cash value, just park your cash value over here and do yeah. this. And now you're making money twice. But then, like worst case scenario, let's just say Exxon drops and he buys it at thirty bucks. He wanted to own Exxon at thirty dollars anyway. That was a good buy. So for him, it's like a win win if he does actually get Exxon at thirty bucks, because then he's probably got a good chance of buying it. So you know, you, you, this strategy. The only thing I always tell people is. You know, if you're going to do this, pick stocks that you like, pick stocks of companies that you're actually passionate about. Just because, hey, if you do own it, don't be upset you own it. Like you got it for exactly right. the price you wanted. That is called controlling your money. Absolutely. And then in this example, we saw that I made $95. If you remember from the presentation, what happened was we got to keep the $95. And we didn't pay $3,000 for this. We paid $3,000 minus the $95 we got to keep, which is $29.05. If we have 100 shares, that means our average price is $29.05, folks, not 30. So that means if this stock is trading at 29.50, 29.20, 29.10 even, we are up by 5 cents. Isn't that crazy? That even if you got to own this stock, you got it at a bigger discount than what you actually were going to get it at. At this point, like Chris said, if you still don't feel comfortable, you can sell this sell another cash secure put or own it. And these are with great companies and you make great dividends. Now, real quick, before I move, uh, does anybody have any questions on this? Hopefully this was clear enough on that. I think that one was awesome. I absolutely love that one. Covered That's like calls, like it's great if you own the stock, it's boring yep. to me. I mean, it's, it's kind of just, it's a great <laughs> strategy. You can, you can make yeah. good money, but to me, it's boring. This one, I don't need to own any darn stock. Yep. I can just like nope. take lazy money Anything. and just start moving that money. So Absolutely. yeah, we do have a couple of questions. So yeah, sure, says, please go ahead. So David said, do you have to buy it if it drops below the or below the lower price uh, than it was thirty five dollars in this scenario? So I think there might have been just a typo. Yeah. So do you have to buy it if it drops below the lower price point? So the lower price I'm assuming is the strike price. Yeah, he used he was using the thirty five dollars, right? which if I'm not mistaken is this, is that the strike? Or maybe he uh, was just doing the 30. math. Yeah. So he's saying. Well, is it the thirty dollars he's talking about? Can we get a exact number? I think number? it might be. Uh, yes. Oh, uh, think think it was thirty five in this scenario. Yeah, it is the thirty. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So yeah, let's yeah, say thirty. Let's say, okay. Perfect. 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 Okay. So the thirty strike. Word. Let's say let's say the stock drops to twenty nine dollars. Okay. Let's let's take that example. What happens is since you're a seller, remember the definition, the technical definition. It's the right, but not an obligation. There could be a that. chance that you may not get it at all. There's cases where I've seen it and I've personally experienced it where you do not get assigned the shares. It happens. It, it can happen. It's not a guarantee that it always will, but it can. However, uh, you should be prepared for that. Okay. You should be prepared in your mind that I am going to get the stocks if it drops below 30. So that's the, the mindset that I would have just so you're prepared for it. But if uh, you don't get assigned, well, guess what? You don't have to deal with that. You could go sell another covered call lower and then wait and then make more money on that. Or if you really wanted that stock at that price and it's a bargain, quickly buy it and then start doing the cash secure, uh, the covered call, sorry. So hopefully that answers it. But yeah, it's, it's like, remember the technical definition. It's the right, not an obligation. So somebody may not want to exercise it. It can happen. Usually it does if it drops, but there's are cases where it doesn't. I've seen it plenty of times where people are waiting for their shares to come and they never do. So that can happen too. So uh, next question. And then Jack was asking, can you do this on any platform such as Robinhood? What are the recommended platforms for a newbie? And that's a great question because when, when we did our 1010 uh, pilot program and anybody that comes on to the 1010 training to work with Sodi, we're going to suggest this platform, which is Thinkorswim, which is owned by TD Ameritrade. So that's just the one we use. It's pretty much kind of the standard in options trading, but there are a lot of people doing Robinhood and Robinhood and Sodi, if you want to answer this, I haven't played with Robinhood, but I know there's options trading in there and it's probably equally as good if not you know it might even be easier who knows yeah so uh jack right sorry if mm -hmm. i got the yep. wrong name um yeah so i've used robin plenty of times yes you can trade all kinds of options um 
I'll give you two things why I don't touch Robinhood and I don't recommend it even for beginners now. Uh, one, zero commissions everywhere. Yes, you will pay maybe 10 cents or 15 cents, you know, <clears throat> on a contract on this platform compared to Robinhood. But those 15 cents, don't think of it as a commission. Think of it as support. Exactly. If something goes wrong on your Robinhood and you, ha you need help immediately, there's no phone number, you know. With TD Ameritrade, there's live chat, there's platform uh, help, there's help in the platform itself. So think of those 15 cents as an investment in support because in February, I don't know if you remember, this being a leap year, Robinhood platforms went down on off of the 29th because it wasn't in the software, you know? Nobody, and that was one of those Mondays that tragedy happened. People couldn't sell because this uh, app wouldn't work. Not a, not a problem with other platforms, okay? Yeah, and Robinhood set, uh, lured a lot of people in. Like they gave them free absolutely. shares and they lured people yeah. in. And I think it's an awful trading platform. Saul nailed it, like with yeah. what he said. I mean, <clears throat> they're going to skim that money somewhere. Don't think, nothing's free yeah. in life, folks. Oh, no, absolutely. And then uh, just to quickly cover, brokers basically make their money on spread. So the spread is where brokers make their money. So a year ago, I would have said Robinhood maybe, but given everything that's happened this year, bad, uh, the data fault and everything. And then commissions are free. Like only you're paying 15 cents, incredible commissions. Second, the platform is phenomenal. You can use it on your phone, iPad, everywhere. And you get a demo account. You get a paper trading account. You don't have that at Robinhood. So you can literally take 30 days of just paper trading this stuff, getting used to it. Then, and then the best part is since you're using this exact platform, when you switch to the real one, it's absolutely the same. So in your mind, nothing has changed. Because what happens is a lot of people, when they demo a paper trade, they use a different platform and then they go to a new platform. So there's an adjusting period here. You're just sticking to it. So I genuinely like this and nothing wrong with Robinhood, but like it's got its faults. You know, uh, I'd rather have pay 15 cents a contract for support and have somebody to talk to than not. So yeah, I, I don't use that. Uh, any other questions? Uh, nope. I'm, I'm answering one about like how much somebody was asking, what is the minimum amount you need in your in your uh, trading platform? Really, there isn't a minimum amount. If you're going to trade on a daily basis, they require a $25,000 minimum to do day trading, but you can do swing right. trading with a $1,000 account. Heck, you could have $500 in your account. Again, really remember with this strategy, you're not buying anything. So, you know, you just got to be careful how much you have. You, you probably would want a couple right. thousand bucks in your account to get rolling. Absolutely. And then I'm going to give a quick tip here, guys. So day trading and, you know, like what Chris talked about having $25,000 that comes from patent day trading, that's in margin account. If you really, really wanted to day trade and you didn't have $25,000, there's a way around it. You could literally just go to your broker and ask them to open a cash account instead of a margin account. That's all you have to do. Basically, and then you're free from those uh, three, day, uh, three limited day trades. No longer it applies to you if you have a cash account. So if that's something you're interested in, feel free to reach out. I'll be happy to answer questions or you know, you can ask your broker as well. But cash accounts have a different settlement. So you want to trade differently a little bit, but the day trading rules go away. Uh, lastly here, what I wanted to cover was <clears throat> people who are worried about picking stocks. They're like, I don't know if I want to pick one individual stock or something. Well, you realize you can do this exact same thing with the entire market. Now I'm looking at basically SPY, which is the, you know, the S&P 500 ETF. This is also one of the, highest trading uh, options out there. So you'll never have a problem. So let's say you, <clears throat> excuse me, you felt like, hey, the market's overvalued at 340. I think the market's too expensive right now. I don't want to pay for that. I, I think the market has some downside. You feel like at $315, this makes more sense to me. Well, guess what? Oh, I just missed it by five. Guess what? Here you go at 315. You can sell a cash secured put, okay, at 315 and get paid $487 for the next 44 days to wait for the market to drop for that price. If the market keeps rising, well, you get to keep your money. And if you don't feel like 315 is a good enough number, hell, you can do it 325 and make 700 bucks. Like literally, if we look at this return, um, excuse me, quick second, 486 divided by... That's an extra 1.54% on your capital in 44 days. Do this, let's say you do this eight times a year. That's 12.3%. That's basically higher than the return of the market. The average return of the market is seven to 8%. In Especially the long run. <laughs> with the S&P 500. And you're beating that by just doing 10 minutes, a day, uh, 10 minutes every 45 days. Mm -hmm. How amazing is that? You don't even have to be a stock picker. 
if you, if you're somebody who's a you know very careful investor who likes to buy safe things, how much more safe can I get? This is the market. This is what your uh, managers are charging you: two percent fees and ten percent expense ratio every year to to put you in these things. Which just so everybody knows is absolutely ludicrous, but that's what's happening yeah. out there. They'll, they'll yeah. buy you, you know, the spider ETF, which is this one, the S and P 500, <laughs> they don't have to do yeah. anything, no nope. work outside of clicking the button. And at yeah. that point, then you're paying them one and a half to 2% to manage something that manages itself. Welcome to wall street folks. That's where, yeah. that's why this is, we're here to teach you the truth about how money works and wake you up that's a little right. bit to the lies that you've been taught your whole life, absolutely. your whole life. Yeah, no, that's true. And unless you like working with a specific asset management firm or a hedge fund who custom create portfolios for you, they're basically putting you in these products. And so one thing I, I did want to say real quick, David, yes, yeah. you can use a self-directed IRA. Each, you know, different self-directed IRAs are linked to different brokerages. I know like Horizon Trust is linked to TD Ameritrade. So just you just got to check with your, your platform and see what they're linked to. But yeah, most self-directed IRAs do have a brokerage component in which you can right. do this. Yeah. And then you can even open another account or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, but what I was going to do was, oh yeah. So hopefully these strategies made sense. And, you know, for day traders, I did explain Delta and all. Uh, this platform is, is also special. Like I love it because it has some extra features around here. Like there's lots going on that we can cover later, but quick things you can see is there's something called an expected move. If you see the 37, actually let's look at November. So by November 20th, the, the market is expecting a 25, $26 move in either direction, plus minus means it could go $26 up or 20, let's say 27, $27 up or down. So if you really wanted to sell that cash secured uh, put or sell that covered call and you didn't want your shares to get away, just add $27 to this price. Literally just add $27 to 340, that's 367. So let's go to this. Let's see what we have at 367. Guess what, at 367, if you were to sell a cash secure uh, as a covered call, you'd make $170 for the next 44 days. And there's a very good chance that they would never get called away because the market wouldn't move that much. Isn't that incredible? And that's the kind of uh, cool things that this platform has that we can teach you that, you know, uh, these little tools here and there that really take your options trading to the next level without having to do all this crazy calculation of what to buy, when to buy. So those are some, this is one of the tools that you can use, which is what I, it's called standard deviation. We can call it the expected move. It's right here. You can do so, this in any stock. Two real quick questions uh, on that, yeah. the negative side of that. So let's say you did that. We talked about the upside and how much you'd make for you know, yeah. doing that trade. But what's the downside? If you did actually have to take that position down, you, you know, uh, William was saying, would you need 31,500 in cash if that happened the other direction? Like if you actually bought that at that price? Right. So I'm assuming you're talking about the 315, uh, 315 I, strike yeah, I price so. that mm -hmm. I sold it at. Yeah. So what happens is when you sell that option, if you don't have $31,500 in your account, it won't let you sell that option. Okay. It's called cash secured puts. It wants to secure that cash. 15 years ago, that wasn't the case. That's why we had a lot of trading blunders back then. But now those are rules that are required, um, that they require you to have $31,500 locked away to get that. But like I said, if you have that kind of amount in your savings and things like that, you're basically making 0.6% in a high yield savings account in a year. Here you can make 1.54 in 45 days. So really you have to decide where you want to put your money in, but you need to have that cash. If for some people that may be a lot, and I understand that, uh, I don't remember from the top of my head, but there are certain other ETFs and names like these that are, that if you want to uh, get the market exposure, so VTI, which is like the Vanguard, uh, it's like total market index. It's 174. So that's a hundred, you need 17,000 for this, which is half. Uh, there's another one I can't remember, which is something around $90 or $80. So you'd need about $8,000, half of this as well. So there are options of, you know, uh, what you would want. These get a little bit tricky to sell options on, but, but there are, if we, you know, we can always talk later. Uh, there are, there are names out there that you can buy that fit your criteria. So yeah. depending on the strategy you use, and I think, I think you were going there, but I mean, really, you're just going to look at how much money you're trading with and you're going to pick the stocks that are appropriate for what you're trying to do. I mean, it's very customizable to, to do whatever you want. I mean, maybe the SPY is, is too, you know, too much, you know, if you ended up having to take that out, but you wouldn't be able to buy it anyway. So there's all sorts of options. I mean, there, there's just, you will pick the ones that you like. We're just kind of showing some examples on that.
Absolutely. And I'm, uh, are we good on time? Are we going over? Or are we no, no, we're good. Let me add one other thing too, because there was a yes, lot of please. questions earlier about like the trading platform. So, you know, if right. you do end up working with us, we actually will send yeah. you step-by-step -step instructions and Saul, who's on here, who went through the program, literally did a video training of showing literally how to, how to set up your TD Ameritrade account. Because although that seems easy, you just go in, you put your information in, you set your account up, you can do it wrong and you won't be able to trade options because you picked the wrong thing. If you went on there and you didn't pick the the right options and get approved for the right, um, I, th I think right. it's actually called the option that you get you know, approved for, whether it's advanced or covered calls, you won't be able to do this. So really, again, sometimes just a little bit of knowledge goes an awful long way. So I just want to make sure you don't make those silly mistakes of opening an account because you're excited. And then all of a sudden you get on and you're like, wait, it won't let me trade covered calls. Oh, wait, I can't sell puts. Like I did what's going on. Were they you know, not telling me the truth? No, you just didn't answer the question right. So we walk you through yeah. literally step by step by step on that. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I just want to show like one last thing. This is sure. just one of those things to show that, hey, when everybody is in this ludicrous mania of buying stocks like Tesla, all the crazy things, you as a smart investor who still bought stocks could have been selling calls and collecting so much extra income. Oh, sorry. I yeah. Yep. There we go. Uh, I was like, what just happened there? My <laughs> boss died. <laughs> uh, let's say you owned a hundred shares of Tesla. You know, let's say you bought them when they were cheaper or whatever you're holding it. Tesla is one of those stocks that has incredible options volume. You could literally pick, let's say, five hundred dollars. Like if you think it would go up in the next uh, nine days and make one hundred thirty-five dollars for just selling a covered call. The options chain on Tesla is incredible. I tell so many people, if you own shares of Tesla and you really believe in that company, this is one thing you do not want to miss. Like in the next nine days, if the stock stays below, uh, stays below $10, you can make an extra thousand dollars on your investment. I've seen people use these strategies, not only to collect extra income on their portfolio, and this ties back into the money multiplier effect. They basically use the income from their dividends selling these covered calls and everything to put it back into buying more shares. Compounding kicks in. Now your dividends are being reinvested. Your 20% return is being reinvested. Within a year, you'll probably have, you know, an extra hundred shares and all of a sudden, guess what? Your returns are doubled. You're doing it with 200 shares. Now you have 400. So understand that what just did, if you just Google uh, a chart that shows dividend reinvestments on the stock market, from 1980 to 2020, $100 without dividend reinvestment grew to $2,000. $100 with dividend reinvestment grew to $6,000. Imagine if you added cash secured puts, covered calls to that strategy, where your returns would be. We just jumped from 3% to 16, 20%. Isn't that incredible? And they're charging you 2% fees to not even do that stuff for you. <laughs> so that like yeah Saul just posted something folks this like well you know how old Sodi is but like Saul just gave me a YouTube link for a 13 year old that made $78,000 doing what we're talking about here so folks if you got kids like you think this might be some valuable stuff to teach them and get them in a training and a coaching program for, so they can learn. If you're a 13 year old made $78,000, would you feel a little jealous? Would you make them pay rent or the mortgage that month? Heck no, you'd pay for their college with it. But like, th this is like, you know, I'm 43, I think, or am I 44? God, you start forgetting how old you are. But you, you really kind of got to look at this and say, well, I can use this, but this would be great for my kids. I know we have uh, one of our clients, one of our money multiplier clients, she looked at it and said, you know, I need something to fund with this money multiplier. She took out the coaching program with Sodi for her son, who's going to learn how to do this. I mean, there's just so many different ways to go with that. Uh, did you did you have any other things you wanted to show? Or do you No, I, hopefully that was great. If anybody has any questions, was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So let's get some questions coming in. And while we're waiting on some of the questions to come in, I do want to talk about a few other things that are, that are really amazing. And all of you that stayed with us, which we still have over 50 people on, which is fantastic. We actually, well, I was brought an opportunity. If you guys are following my Instagram, I've announced it on there, but my, a friend of mine, 
gave me a call and said, hey, Chris, I, I have something I think your people would really like. Now, I don't get paid on this, but I'll tell you why I'm doing this. So he said, I need 180 people that have a 620 or better credit score that live in the United States that haven't filed a bankruptcy in the last seven years, if I'm not mistaken. And there's a couple other criteria. He said, I need them because he has an opportunity that will pay you $750 every month. So listen, I want, I want to be very clear about something. This is, there's no strings attached to this. He will pay you $750 every single month. It will take about, I don't know, Shauna said it's going to take her three hours, but let's just say it takes you six hours because you fumble around with setting everything up. It takes you six hours with them helping you set things up. So for six hours of your time, you will start getting checks in two to three months from now of $750 every month. It costs you zero, zero money. Is there any risk? Zero risk. Zero money out of your pocket, zero risk. It takes six hours of your time or less and about 30 hours to jump on a call once a month just to kind of get updates. If you guys want that, I literally have 180 people that I can offer this to. If you want this, you email me. Do not send it on this chat. I will not see it. You email me at chris at and send it to Flip Out Academy. So Flip Out Academy, and I'll put it up in the thing in a second. Email that to me and just put in the, in the subject, $750 opportunity. And I'll send you a video and all the information. You watch a 22 minute video. He explains it to an, a science. If you like it, you set up a call with him and you guys are good. Why am I doing this? Why am I wasting my time even talking about this? Because if I can help you guys make $750 a month, I'm hoping that some of you give us a call to say, Chris, I have $750 extra dollars per month and I don't know what to do with it. And I say, great, let's put it into a money multiplier account. Let's get you set up with the, the 1010 trading platform with Sodi. Listen, if I can give you seven, an opportunity that gives you $750 a month, like then we have some money that we can move around and I can show you how to do that. That's my economic benefit, just being transparent. But listen, I don't, I've never in my life had an opportunity like this where literally I can just say to you with no money out of your pocket, with six hours of your time, and you can make $750 a month if you qualify. Literally, that's it. So if you guys are interested, email it to Chris and I'm going to put it up in the, the subject line right here. And then we're going to talk a little bit more about how you guys can go to the next step working with Sodi on this because we got something really fun and I'm gonna put the cart in front of the horse a bit, but that's okay. I do that all the time and then figure it out. So that's where you're gonna email it, chris at flipoutacademy.com. All you do, subject line, $750 opportunity, and I'll forward you an email. So that's that part. Second part, I know you guys like the shirts, right? You like the, you know, right here, this shirt, never met a dollar that I didn't like or the one that I have, permission slip. So how about you get a shirt for free if you guys wanna learn how to do these options even more. So we have a training platform and I'm gonna actually put it up on the screen here real quick. So here's, here's what we're gonna do. So this is how it works. It's the Money School 1010 Trading. Oh, that didn't work. Epic fail with me and technology all the time. So let me try this one more time. Uh, didn't work again. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna try something else. Sorry folks. Technology is not my thing. You guys already know that. All right. So you go to Money School REI. And Sody, could you type that in the, um, the feed in the chat? Just do moneyschoolrei.com forward slash 1010 spelled out. There we go. Now I can do it. So folks, stay with me here. I'm going to be bringing it up now. MoneySchoolREI.com. Yeah. All right. So now can you see that page now? It's, does it say money school 1010? Do you guys see that? So what are you seeing on your screen? Yep, we got you. Okay, all right. So this is where you're gonna go. This is what we've been talking about this whole time. So you got really lots of stuff we're gonna give you. We're gonna give you a full one year subscription to MSTV, which gets you a free shirt. Not that this is about the shirt. This is about you making 16, 20% and, and basically making money with money that's just sitting around right now. Here's the pricing. Okay, get right down to it. So you can do the digital package, which gets you one hour with Sodi. Okay, it's just kind of an intro. He's going to teach you how to set it up. And after that, you're on your own. You watch the digital stuff. It's $797. Or you want to work directly with Sodi. You want him to coach you through this entire thing and spend one week with you, okay, for roughly about $90 or 90 minutes a day. And I know it says me up there. We got to change that. $1,997. 
So that's the cost for working with Sodi to have him teach you exactly how to do this with your exact circumstances, set your account up, get you used to this and literally get you off at the end of that week where you literally are starting to do this yourself in paper trading or trading with your real money, whichever you choose. But that's what it is. It's $7.97 for the digital and $19.97 for the full on one week coaching program. So you guys, we're going to put that up on the link and I want to get that off. But that's like... I don't know if any of you know this, but that is literally like giving it away for free. I urge any of you to go online, go to YouTube and look at any other options trading course and look at what the cost for those trading courses are. You'll see that it's not $797 and not $1997. It's way more. It's like 5,000, 10,000. Hell, you can probably spend a hundred grand. I don't know. So do you might know, but that's why we're doing this. We want to help you. We want to help you with these strategies and show you how to do this using literally, he showed you how to do it with 10 minutes, what, every 45 days and make that kind of a return. You know, I say, do do it every single day and make 10, you know, spend 10 minutes a day. And how much more could you make doing that? But that's what it is. If you guys are interested with that, we put it up in the, the link here. I'm going to put it there right now. Money school, rei.com forward slash 10, 10. So that's how you do it. And, or what you can also do is you can also set up a call with Sodi and how we're going to do that is you're going to text money multiplier. I know this is the one we use all the time, text money multiplier and I'll type it in to three, three, seven, seven, seven. If you want to kind of ask more questions so you can do that and that'll go into a call and then we'll set you up with a one-on-one -on -one call to kind of talk more about how this works. So that's, what we have to offer for you. So it's great. You could probably do everything you need to do off the training you got from Sodi today. That's how good that training was. But some of you are probably thinking, I just need a little extra. I kind of saw the numbers, but it was quick. That was an hour and a half, folks. It wasn't that quick, but it was. I just need my handheld. Well, that's how you do it. You go to the 1010 link, the money school REI forward slash 1010, and basically pick which one you want. And if, <laughs> how, how long do you think it would take them to make their money back for the, the coaching program? Well, which we saw, if you did it correctly, it shouldn't take less than, you know, maybe a quarter. Yeah, there you go. So that, and then you've got the knowledge for the rest of your life. So typically we don't make a direct offer on here, but you know what? I know a lot of you probably wanted that. So there it is. You guys have that option. So what other questions do we have now that we're going into this? So let's see here. Oh, Tess got her shirt yesterday. Oh, wow. We got shirts going out already. I didn't even know it. See, this stuff it just happens on an automated basis. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, thanks, Saul. Saul did a lot of the trainings for the 1010. And then Justin said, uh, is that link how you get set up with Sodi? Absolutely, Justin. So you just do that money school link and that's how you set up with Sodi. And uh, the one to work with Sodi one-on-one -on -one is the 1997, or you can do the 797, which gets you just an intro call with him to help you get set up. And then after that, it's all digital. We created an entire digital training. I've been at this thing since the beginning of COVID, folks. I've got more time into this than you can even imagine. And we're now just launching it because Sodi is the, the master of disaster when when it comes to this stuff and like I this is just going to be amazing so folks this is ground level you guys have this opportunity the price probably will go up as we start bringing a lot more people on because hey you know it's supply and demand you guys know how that works but with that being said let's see we got a couple questions that just came through uh, what are some of the other stocks that Sodi might suggest? Ooh, ah, uh, David, we can't make stock suggestions. It is, it is actually kind of Ill, borderline illegal for us to do that. Um, I would say some of the ones that we've been talking about on there are some good ones to research, but we can't make stock suggestions on this. And even with the training, we'll, we'll kind of talk about different stocks, but we're not going to directly say, oh, you need to buy this or you need to buy that. That's what your broker does, your financial advisor does, but that's what they also get paid for. We're trying to teach you how to take back control of that. And no one's going to care about your money more than you are. I want to be, I know so did, we talked about this. There is no one, no advisor, no matter how much you pay them, that's going to care more about your money than you will. So you should just take back the control and learn how to do these things yourself, which means researching and picking some stocks you love. Maybe you love the Tesla cars or you love SpaceX. Maybe you just love your brand new Smith & Wesson handgun. Maybe you're in love with General Electric. Whatever it is, I'm not making suggestions here. I'm just pointing out companies. Find companies that you love and are passionate about, and those are the ones that you use because you just saw it. It doesn't have to be a company that you're worried about making money on it we make money different ways with this um just to add to the absolutely what you said correct if you guys are interested 
there are ways to look and research that I'd be willing in the one-on-one -on -one training to like show you guys, hey, this is how you can research for what you need. So like if you guys know what your goal is, what you kind of portfolio, but you know, what you, what you um, trying to achieve with your investment, I'd be more than happy to share the resources that you can use to narrow down your filters and the criteria that I personally have used and a lot of other analysts use to get you to like a short list instead of this 7,000 stocks that can help you uh, get your uh, get to your goal. So just know your goal and then whenever we do have those um, you know program sessions, uh, just bring those goals with it. And I'd be more than happy to teach you guys how to search stocks because I know that, that can get very complicated. But again, like I said, everything gets easier when you know your goal. Like there's you're not going to look for the stocks the same way for long term than you do for day trading. So if you know your goal, I'd be more than happy to cover that with you guys. Absolutely. And just one more time, folks, I'm just going to throw it up on the screen just so you guys can see it. I'm going to move this out of the way. So there it is. This is the, you can see the, the website right there. It's moneyschoolrei.com forward slash 1010. Everything's on here. I got to get a photo of Sodi up here right next to me, which we'll have that up probably by, I don't know, tomorrow or the next day we'll have that. All the things you get. So you don't just get to work with Sodi and don't just get the digital training. There's a lot of other free things we give you like access to MSTV, which then gets you one of these awesome shirts. And then we've got a bunch of other stuff that we throw in there too, because it's all just about MSTV. So you get kind of uh, double